I'm going to walk you through how to set up a pricing table for rentals. On the left-hand side of my screen, you can see the admin side of our platform. And on the right-hand side, you can see the online store where your customers will be able to make reservations. If you click on the product in your catalog and head over to pricing, you will see the pricing table that Rental has by default created for you with a couple of example durations. On the right-hand side, those will be matching in your online store. And furthermore, we can actually enable some different pricing models so I can enable sales. And now in the online store, the customer will also be able to buy this bike. If I head back to the bookings pricing table, we can add different durations and change the pricings of these durations. So if we want to add some discounted prices for longer durations, we can do that here. In this case, I'm going to add one more duration, which will be one day in 24 hour format. And I'm going to explain the differences between one day within opening hours and one day 24 hours. On the online store, I will select one day within opening hours and the start date will be Tuesday at 10 a.m. Since the opening hours of the store are from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m., the booking will start on Tuesday at 10 a.m. and it will end the same day at 6 p.m. If I select one day 24 hour format for the duration, the booking will still start on Tuesday at 10 a.m., but this time it will end on Wednesday at 10 a.m. There is another powerful tool in the pricing table, which is being able to modify the titles of durations. The following example will go hand in hand with the availability setting that I will be showcasing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this duration. Instead of one day, 24 hours, I will change it to 23 hour duration, and I will change the title to one day. Now that I've done that, if I go to the availability, I'm actually able to change the available start dates and times. So in this example, what I'm trying to achieve is that the customers will always start the reservations at 10 a.m. and the duration will always be one day. However, I want the bikes to be returned at 9 a.m. the following day. So if I change the start times to a custom start time, and I make it 10 a.m. and save the changes. Now, when I select the duration of one day, the booking will start on Tuesday at 10 a.m., but the end time will be on Wednesday at 9 a.m. I hope this video is helpful. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions.